Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I woke up in the mood ready to do some organizing. So, I'm going to show you all how I organize some items in my nail art collection. I do have my foils here. I have like a lot of different foils that I want to go ahead and get organized and put away. And I want to show you all how I do that along with my nail stickers. And I thought it might be cool to just show you all kind of where my nail stickers are right now and kind of where I plan to put them at. So I'm going to zoom out just ever so slightly. Okay. And then my nail drawer is right underneath here. So I'm going to scoot this back. All right. And just show you all this right here is my current nail situation. Okay. Um, I'm going to just show you all really quick what I have going on here. It's a lot. It's not too organized. I was excited when I first did this setup, but I've since outgrown this and I need to just, you know, do better. So, um, I have these little like storage tin things that I got from like Dollar Tree, kind of semi organizing everything in here. And then I have like, I have some rhinestones here right now. This is literally where I keep all of my nail stickers. <laughs> So just right here, even along with like some charms and stuff. Oh, I forgot I had these crowns. Okay. What's funny is I was on Shein and I was about to order these again, y'all. That's so funny. I didn't realize I had some already. That's good. Okay. Yeah, I got a few items here. Okay. Yeah, these are the chains I used in um, my gelling uh, tip kit review. So yeah, these are really good. But anywho, these are the nail stickers that I have that I want to get organized. Um, over here, I have some of my like really old nail stickers, like from years and years and years ago. But I want to get these organized. These are a few Halloween ones. What are these? Oh, these are some glow in the dark butterflies. So I have these that I want to get organized as well. And then what else do we have? I just want to show you all really quick just my setup. Here I have like different like rhinestones and stuff. I need to do something different with these because I don't like these pinwheels that they're in. So I have to find a way to get these organized a little bit better. And then what else do I have? This is just like miscellaneous stuff back here. Um, this is like craft, um, what is this? Craft stickers. So oh, uh, craft tape, I'm sorry. So this I planned on using for nail art and I just use an old pill bottle to keep it sorted for now. But yeah, I have like some of my gold foil flakes, my, you know, polish holder. I have some top coat here, some foil glue, a piece of foil. <laughs> um, here I have like um, base, um, the gel glue from Bellavina Double Dip, the nail glue from Beatles, and then my new favorite peel off base coat, which is this Maran one. Um, and then here, I just recently got this too. I like it. It helps to make the rhinestones go in one direction for you. Um, my rhinestone picker, which I might need that. Um, and then just a lot of other stuff. These are some more foils. I don't know that I'm going to take these out of the box or not. I haven't quite decided yet. They're so small. I'm going to show you all how I plan to organize these. I might or might not take these out of this box. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, Oh, I got these foils too. Okay, let's organize these in the new space. I got tape here. Um, this right here, y'all, I'm not even going to take it out, but it's a lot of like, most of these containers back here are empty. Like, <laughs> they're empty. And I, I created this little situation before I got my new storage to, um, you know, allow for my collection to grow but I don't even think I'm gonna end up using this setup here because this is two like old perfume set boxes um, that I just put like a lot of storage containers in I don't even know if you all can really see that well um, but yeah it, it goes a little bit further back but anywho cupcake liners are over here this is like my little bit of makeup that I use when I film like lip gloss and stuff like that this is some more old stuff um, so yeah, yeah, I'm just in the mood to just get better organized. So this is just a sneak peek of what I have going on right now. Um, I don't know when this video is going to go up. I am filming how I get my, um, my, I'm going to redo this desk because like part of it, like the door is missing on the side. So yeah, anyway, that's just a sneak peek. Again, rhinestones, some more. This is where I, you know, work on um, tips and press-ons and stuff like that. More gems and 
yeah just a lot of random stuff so I'm gonna show y'all how I get everything organized because it, it was working for me at first but honestly I think I've outgrown it so yeah let me see this is the pinwheel I don't yeah I have storage that I plan to put this in so I'm not gonna do nothing with this just yet so yeah for now it's just gonna be the foils and the stickers okay so let's get to that right now okay so we gonna scoot ourselves right back up here y'all coming along on the journey with me today okay so I'm gonna zoom you back in and show you what we're gonna do with these um, foil. I want to do the foils first because I'm really excited about this I actually discovered this from a fellow youtuber I can't remember the name right now um, I mentioned it in my haul video the haul video should be up already if not um, it'll be up soon this is where I'm putting all my foils at you guys I'm so excited about this like look how compact everything is about to be so we're gonna go from all of this all of this right here all of this to just this and the box has a container you open it up and yeah it's kind of like this reminds me of like the tic tac um container you know just pop it open and everything like that so yeah um i'm gonna go ahead and get started with this oh and before i jump into my organization y'all really quick my nails i know right they cute um <laughs> So this is the Christmas design that I did. I'm gonna leave the link for both of these sets down below, but I'm absolutely loving it. This is like the real life of a YouTuber, right? When you walk around with two different sets on your hand. But really quick backstory on this. I went to the bank to sign some documents and my bank advisor, she was like, oh my God, who does your nails? And I was like, oh, actually, I did it myself. She was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. She was just like, they look absolutely beautiful. And she was just like, do you do other people's nails? And I was like, no, I don't. And she was like, you should. And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. That's like such a big compliment. But yeah, I finished signing my documents and everything. And when I left out the bank, y'all, she was like, if you ever decide to do other people's nails, let me know. I would pay you to do my nails. And I just was like, wow, that's such a huge compliment to me, you know? So, anywho, um, I've been thinking about going to get my nail tech license. Um, not necessarily to do other people's nails, because I don't know that I would enjoy that so much. But thinking maybe, you know, I might like it to maybe become like a nail educator because I do enjoy um, teaching how to do nails or at least showing how to do nails hence why I'm doing it on YouTube here so anyway let me know y'all thoughts on that below that's just like a random segue but anywho this kit is really cool um, I love the fact that it comes with these label makers too so you can label your nail foils so let me hop right on into this I'm just gonna play some music for y'all enjoying pleasure and then I'm gonna just hop right on in and just start you know filming so yeah enjoy So quick tip here when organizing this, um, one tip I learned is when you fold your foils up, okay, you will want to put them into the cap of the little container first and then put the rest of it inside of here. Otherwise what will happen is, is when you put the foils in, um, they'll tend to wrinkle up and you don't want that to happen. So do the cap first and then um, do the rest of the foil. But yeah, I really like this because you can see here that um, you know, you can see the actual foil steel. So, you know, it's not like, you know, all crimped up and folded up and wrinkled up and things like that. So, all right, now I'm gonna just show you all how I organize it, okay?
smells so pretty. Okay, so these are all of my Shein foils that I have gotten packed away. So y'all see these three big containers have now been stored into this item here, right? And then I still have half of it to go. So that's pretty exciting. I'm happy I'm able to get my foils nice and compact. I'm probably gonna order another one of these because I also saw that you can store like rhinestones and stuff in here. So yeah, these boxes I plan to use with, you know those nail tips that come in like the bags or whatever. Those are inconvenient, so I'll just probably just put my nail tips in here. Or maybe um, I'll store some charms in here as well. So yeah, I'm just happy to have these to kind of repurpose them for something else. Um, so now all I have left is my young nail foil. Actually, no. I also have these two foils from Shein. And I actually, I'm pretty sure one of the ones that I got are the exact same. 
Yeah, so this one came separate. It's so funny. I ordered this by itself and I paid a dollar. And I think I ordered this one here and it came in one of these cases and I paid two dollars for it. So I could have saved my little dollar on this. Um, I'm trying to decide. I think I want to put that in the same one since it's like the exact same foil. There's no point in having two, right? So let me go ahead and do that really quick. And then I think once I finish this, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my Young Nails marble foils because these right here, they ended with marble designs. So I'm gonna go ahead and transition on to the marble foils. Um, I'm thinking probably what I wanna do though is mark um, which brand of foils they're from. At first I wasn't gonna label anything because I'm like, I don't really need to. But I do want to make sure I'm keeping the brands separate. So maybe just on these like little stickers at the bottom. Um, I don't necessarily need to put like what design they are, but I'll probably just put what brand it came from. That way, you know, I know how each brand performs. Cause to me, I don't mind just kind of like flipping it over. Well, I guess you won't really be able to see it, but well, I guess from this side, I'll be able to see like you know, these are marbles, these are like kinda, you know, the chrome looking ones, these are animal print, etc. I don't really feel a need to go through and label each one individually. I don't mind just kinda like picking them up and seeing what I got. Um, but yeah, who knows, I might change that later, but that's just what I wanna do right now cause I don't feel like writing down all of these, so. Okay y'all, don't talk about my chicken scratch. I don't have like the prettiest of handwriting. But I decided I'm gonna go ahead and label it mainly because I wanna make sure I know which brand of foils I'm using when I'm testing out like different products and things like that. So I'm gonna label my Young Nails. I'm gonna come back in and label my Shein ones later because I'll, so far all the, all the foils that I put in here are only Shein, so I'll know the ones that aren't labeled are the Shein ones. And then anything else I add in here, I'll make sure I label it, so. Yeah, here you can see these are the Young Nail marble foils, and I just kind of, oops, I just kind of put on here like marble, and then kind of what kind of marble it is. Four, five, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm missing two. Okay, so yeah, these two are kind of like floral marble designs almost. So that's just what I'm gonna put. So I'm gonna go through and just mark these. Color I'll call this. Okay, so then I guess what's gonna make sense to do now is to just put the label at the bottom of it. So we got the black and gray here. So how that's supposed to work? Okay, so that don't fit in there. No, it's not gonna fit. What? So I gotta put it. Maybe I'll just put it at the top here. If I put it at the top, I'm gonna take this off. Well, that doesn't really work for me now, does it? So I guess I'm gonna have to put it on the front, which I don't really want to do, but. Yeah, so if I have to put it on the front, right, then it kind of defeats the purpose of the label and how I wanted to use it because. If I was able to put the label at the bottom, then I'd be able to use it a little bit more efficiently because the point is for me not to have to pull each one of them out. So let's see, let's stick in there like this. Okay, yeah, we just gonna stick that in there like this cause yeah, it kind of defeats the purpose of having the label if I can't put it at the bottom. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that's gonna have to work for me. So this the Young Nail black and gray marble. I don't know if y'all can see that. Young nail, black and gray marble. Again, I have chicken scratch. Don't talk about my handwriting. So yeah, I'm gonna take this off. And then this is the black and gray one that I labeled here. I'm gonna just put this in here like so. All right, like this. Okay, and then put this here. Like so, and then I know exactly which one is in here, All right? And the reason I'm gonna do that, I wasn't going to at first, but when I close this, instead of me having to take each one out, then I can just flip it over and see, okay, this is my Young Nail Gray and Black Marble, this would be my Shein, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna go through and label Shein later, because I don't really feel like it, but the Young Nail 
colors I already have labeled. So we're going to go ahead and get that going. Okay. Okay. So we're going to put the rest of these in here. Okay. So this foil video taking longer than I thought it was going to take. So I'm going to do my stickers probably in another video. Okay. Because I don't want this video to be too long. But yeah, I'm going to go through and just kind of find the stickers that I made and put them at the bottom and then put the, um, the actual foils in there. So let me do that with you guys. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get another one of these cases. I really, I really like this for organization. I really do. I'm going to take a few of these out here just to save a little time. So I'm getting ready to do the black and blue. So Young Nail Marble, black and blue. I'm gonna take this, okay, and stick it at the bottom here, okay. Y'all, these long nails, that, <laughs> maybe I picked the wrong time to do this with my long nails. But that's what we working with right now. So that's how we gonna do it, just like that, right? And now I'm gonna take this and just fold it up and continue doing what I was doing at first. Okay, y'all, so I just did my first case of the Young Nails foils, and I think I like this process better. So go through, look at the foils kind of while they're all still on display. Go ahead and label them what you think you'll remember them by. And then to streamline it even more, before you even put the foil in here, go ahead and put the labels on all of the little containers and then look at the label and then just find which one and go ahead and put it in there. I think that made it a lot quicker for me. So I'm gonna go through and do this one here in a second, but I also wanna show you all something else that you can do to use this organization storage thingy for. I wanna show you all other uses for this storage container, right? So I have some rhinestones here. Then I also have this weird little foil thingy that I got from Shein. So I'm gonna show you all you can also use it for that, right? So actually, I'm gonna put these here at the top because I'm gonna label these later as well. But yeah, this is just like a random piece of foil nail art thingy that I got from Shein. I wanna show you all how you can use this, right? It's just this little piece here. You know, it's kind of like a foil, but not really. So I'm gonna go ahead and store that in here instead of having it in that little baggie, you know? So same deal, you wanna just fold it up first, put, put it in the lid first. There we go. You wanna put it in the lid first, like so. Oops, let's see if it go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Put it in the lid first, right? And then put it, put the, put the rest of it here in the body, like that. And it's all nice and stored away, y'all. I like this a lot. I really like this storage container. And then another way you can use it is to store rhinestones, okay? So with this one here, I wanna put, these are the rhinestones that came in my double dip um, uh, Gelix dupe kit, which is actually what I have on this hand right here. Y'all see how beautiful these rhinestones are? These rhinestones are. I absolutely love this so much. So yeah, that's what I use to, the rhinestones I use in this set here. And what I'm gonna do is just open this up and I'm just gonna pull the rhinestones aside of here. I, I bought a couple of bags of rhinestones from Shein that come like this and I probably will just put them in here, if not in another container, but for now I kinda like these rhinestones 
in here like this. So this is just another idea for you guys and you can just pour it on in here. This one is mixed, it has like a variety of different sizes in here. Right, and so you can just pour them all in here like that. I'll come back for these a little bit later, but this is just for demonstration purposes, right? And then you put this on here. And look y'all, it's like a quick way to just like store your rhinestones, like, what? I love it. And then the nice thing about this too is, since it's like a mixed container of rhinestones, you literally can just like pour them out like this, right? And then you can just like kind of shake them up to, you know, get what you need. And then when you're done using your rhinestones, right? You can just pour them back into the container. So yeah, I really like this a lot. Just pour back into the container just like this. Like how easy is that y'all? So yeah, these are just some ideas for how to use this, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish labeling the rest of my foils, putting them in here, and then I'll be back to give you guys my final thoughts on this and to see what you all think about my little organization hack, okay? I'll be back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I know, different day, different nails. But we're gonna finish this organization. So I left off trying to organize the rest of my foils. This is the last one that I have left. And so this is the system that I created. I went ahead and labeled all of the nail foils that are in this box. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and adhere them to the bottom of these containers here and go ahead and put them in there. So right now, the only ones I don't have labeled is all of my Shein foils, but you all can kind of get an idea of how organized everything is going to look once it's all labeled and everything. At first I wasn't going to label it, but I'm realizing now that it's going to make more sense to do so. That way I don't have to go through and try to like, you know, pull each one up just to see what it looks like. But um, yeah, let me go ahead and do this really quick. I'll probably just play some music. So, you know, I'll either play some music or let this be an ASMR thing so that you all can see how I do this. So yeah, let me go ahead and do that. And I found that taking pretty much all of them out, all the ones you're gonna use for a row out at once, was kind of most helpful for me. So yeah. And then I'm also finding too that this video is a lot longer than I expected. So my stickers, I'm actually gonna do in a different video. So stay tuned for that. Um, that's gonna be coming up very, very soon here. So. Yeah, so I want to just go through and kind of look and find what is what. Okay, you all, so literally all of my nail foils, so all of these containers here, so I have five of these boxes here, fit into this tiny storage thingy, which I absolutely love. So yeah, all of my foils are now in this, and I love it, it has a nice little handle, so you know, yeah, I just love the small blueprint, the small footprint for this. And like I said at the bottom here, I need to go through and label all of my Shein foils, but I'm gonna do that another time, I know that what's left out here is Shein. All the rest of them are Young Nails. And I do have some more foils here, actually. Um, I have these foils. I haven't decided if I wanna put these in here or not, um, just because they're kinda shorter. And I know I can use tweezers to take them out, but I think I might just keep these in the container. They're small enough. Um, but who knows, I might go ahead and put them in here. Yeah, I mean, I have the space for it. I might go ahead and put these in here, but if I do do that, I'm gonna do it later because I wanna see, I got some crystals that I got from Shein recently. They're all in like 
little bags. I'm gonna show that to y'all in a haul soon, but they're similar to how the double dip rhinestones came, just like in a little baggie. And I like the idea of being able to store the rhinestones like this and then pour out, like I showed you all earlier. So I might just save the rest of these containers for that. But likely I'm gonna go and order another one of these because I really like the idea of this storage. It's just so nice, easy, and compact. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know how you organize your four foils. I know a lot of people use like binders, um, like uh, playing card um, binders and things like that. I didn't like the idea of that because I just feel like those books will get like too kind of boggled down, like I'm too thick. So I really love the idea of this. And then you can store it sideways and it's just kind of nice compacting out the way. So yeah, this is just an idea of how, this is just an idea if you all want a new way to um, organize your foils. They're nice and labeled. You know what you got and you can still see them. And then also if you want to organize your rhinestones that way, you can do that as well. So yeah, let me know how you all organize your foils. Like what method do you use and what do you think is most effective for you? I am planning on bringing you all more organization videos. Like I said, I didn't get around to filming my how I organize my stickers, but I'm going to be doing that soon. So uh, stay tuned for that one. I'm going to organize that in a part two of this video. So if you all like what you saw here, um, definitely stick around join the happy family I would love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video I hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye